was going to happen, so. Learning something new with Megan is a, is a pretty big deal, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That crab tries so hard. Yeah. Put forth a good effort. But he wasn't strong enough. No for match for the slurp. Water. <laughs> it's a demotivational poster. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had an office coordinator who, like, it looked like the motivational posters. Like, it'd be like a nice, like, happy cat. And, you know, it was like the black rim with the, like, big letters at the bottom. But then when you actually read them, you're like, wait, is this supposed to be encouraging like, like what would yeah. it say i don't know it was kind of like courage it's the thing that you like end up giving up on eventually like, <laughs> like you would have to like read them in order to know that it was not being encouraging at all dreams leave they're, them. they're all they won't come true <laughs> leave them Uh, question in the chat. Uh, will the crab or the zoanthid likely make it up? Uh, oh, they'll make it up. Well, they'll make and, it up. Uh, will they be alive? Living. Um, maybe. Yeah, probably not. Unlikely. Who knows? Procrastination. I'll find a picture tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Mediocrity. <laughs> you want me to find the demotivational calendar? What? Sorry, what depth was your target uh, rock sample again? Target is 2680, but so right everyone now? has oh. been taking them higher, so okay. take it a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Start looking. Yeah, Carly, this one's an individuality. I'm Always remember that you're unique, just like everybody else. <sighs> That's true. It's a true statement. Diversity. That sh which does not kill me postpones the inevitable. All right. Never <laughs> give up. Never stop trying to exceed your limits. We need the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> The one that you read, postponing the inevitable, it's so weird to me how, like, the moment you born, you're born is the moment you start dying. Kind of, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't like, like thinking about that. <laughs> like, just oxidizing. That's not a morning conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we can save that Sorry. for the evening watch. percent <laughs> uh, This commenter is watching with her 89-year-old mother who sends us love. Oh, oh. I got a demotivational idea for that uh, that crab. Oh yeah. It's like sacrifice. Even if you give up your backpack, we're still gonna slurp you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, do sea spiders build a web? No. Sea spiders are not actual spiders. They are not arachnids. Um. But they, they have the eight legs and they meander in this sort of spider-like way, which is how they get their name. Um, but no, they don't they don't have webs. And having a web might not be uh, useful, uh, but they do feed on anemones and corals. So you wouldn't catch those in a web. Uh, but maybe there are some creatures that build things that are like webs, uh, sort of uh, like a filter feeding device. And uh, like selps or uh, larvations, they have these sort of homes that filter water. Those are kind of like webs. Sponges, uh, their structure, it can be very web-like. And the structure is meant to uh, increase water flow through the sponge body to collect food um, and bring oxygenation. So 
that's sort of a web-like structure in the deep sea. So How there about are this blazer sort of rock right now? I feel like it's a little bit too sedimented. Too sedimented. Roger. These ones are dirty. <laughs> Gross. Let's find a nice, clean, shiny rock. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt there. Oh, no. Oh, is this one clean enough? Can we get a little bit higher? Yeah. We're working on it. Speaking of rocks, are seamounts individual inactive volcanoes or formed in some other way? Yeah, normally they're uh, from volcano. And there are a lot of seamounts uh, across all of our oceans. Yeah, there are ancient volcanic activity. How many did Adam say there were in I his presentation? Know. There was a lot. Like How many seamounts in the sea world? Seamounts in the world. Hundreds. Thousands. I that didn't know we had that number. Uh, there was like thousands. It was a really large number. Um, do we have any clue how the crab meets the zoanthid? Nope. Awesome. We're going to find out someday. Maybe. Might we hope to find out someday. Yep. I am, I'm not sure how they make their initial meeting. Yeah, Scientists usually. estimate that there are at least 100,000 seamounts higher than 1,000 meters above the seafloor in the world. Very cool. I can believe that. I was going to guess 80, so I would have been... <laughs> 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 I thought I'd look it up first. There are two seamounts in the world. <laughs> Approximately 10. Th there are... Wait, more than 10, less than infinity. Yep. <laughs> I mean, if we've only mapped, like... 20% of the world, how, how do we know for sure? Yeah, we don't Not know for, for sure. sure. Yeah. It's estimated. That says it's estimate. Because altimetry is only so, you know, so good. Yeah, we know what's a bit like a pretty big lumpy bit or a less big lumpy bit. That's about it. I mean, the satellite altimetry, like, it does an okay job. Yeah, but, but oh, you know, yeah. sometimes there's these conical seamounts that someone's very convinced are there, and then we drive over them, and they're not there. Nope, that's a typo. And a then person, sometimes... That. Personal wound. Yeah. yeah that, that was oh, right, I forgot. something that yeah, I super had to deal with. <laughs> and then sometimes you drive over a place where it looks like there's nothing, and then there's something. Yeah, so it's not ultra precise. You have to deal yeah. with all of the interference from the water and anything in the water. It's just amazing that we can do this, and... It's relatively accurate. Yeah. Uh, just sometimes it can be not so accurate, which is why we need the high resolution mapping data. That Aaron is single handedly collecting. Mm -hmm. I know you're trying to be funny, but don't say that. There's a lot of obnoxious <laughs> people. I don't want to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, Aaron is extremely humble and uh, is doing a way, way more than she likes to admit to, which is why I like to mention how awesome she is. Um, has ever anybody ever seen an, a volcano erupt underwater? Yes. Yes, we have. Would you like to talk about them, Coralie? Um, yes, it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> have I seen it? No. There's some Will video I of it. Will I see it? Probably. I'm going on a cruise to the... The Viejagelo Archipelago in 2023, I think. I can't remember. The cruises kept keep getting pushed back uh, because of COVID. So it's unscheduled right now, but I think it's supposed to be early 2023. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. I'm impressed you know what you're doing that far ahead. I will. Okay. So I was told last year that I was, it was to not schedule anything for this whole November and then it got pushed back again. Like it was supposed to be like when I first started grad school and then it got pushed back and then got pushed back again and then got pushed back a third time. We got some anemones. They're like hanging out in the sediment. Anemones. We don't have any more formalin to preserve them with, so. Oh, really? 
And I know when I was first researching uh, images for my tattoo, I definitely found some really cool video. I think it was on one of NOAA's sites of pillow basalts forming underwater. Um, so just, just. What's I your do, tattoo? Do. That's you really? Cool. There's some on there. Yeah. I mean, it's subtle. Cool. I'll have to, you have to show me. I didn't yeah, notice wait, that. I, I made her too. let me full me fully inspect her arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let what me is, look at all the sea creatures. That's super uh, cool. It's like it's evolution. So it's uh, cells up to a tetrapod crawling out on an island. And then there's hydrothermal vents on what? it. What? Oh, that's not, so cool. I've not fully Mermaid. examined the ima yep. majesty. Yeah, and the mermaid's kind of the you know overpowering part, but there's a lot of geeky science mixed in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, does Hercules have capabilities to detect metals? There's no. so much metal. It can detect itself. Yeah. <laughs> Hercules has lots of metal. Yeah, look at that rock. What about that rock? Uh, I still kind of want to get a little bit higher. Higher. Yeah. I feel lied to, Coralie. I know. 2680? Well, 2690? 26? 2680. Oh, we're actually deeper. Was the oh. original goal, but I want to get higher than that because we've been sampling higher. All okay. of them at higher depths. Yeah, we actually went down a little slope, so. If you at home, since you've asked in the chat, are wondering how deep we are, um, all of that information is on nautiluslive.org. You can go to that webpage and scroll down just a hint and see live data, um, how deep we are, and you can uh, actually click through to more data if it's uh, to see uh, a lot more information. You can also click on each image of the ROVs and uh, learn more about them. So currently we are sitting at 2686 um, meters. No, 2684 meters. Okay. It's just, that's what, uh, what's it called? Uh, microfauna said before I hit the button. The what? Microfauna? Oh, will Nautilus be going to the Mariana Trench and upcoming expedition? I don't know exactly what we're doing in the next season. I know that we're staying in Hawaii. It's going to be sea mounty kind of stuff. Uh, the Mariana Trench goes to like 10,000 meters. Our ROVs go down to about 6,000 meters. So it's not to say that we can't go to it, but we wouldn't be able to get to the very bottom of it. Yeah, no, um, we're not going over there. Yeah, not not next year anyway. Not, ne not next year. I believe there are three ROV cruises planned, uh, and then the summer cruises are going to be a little bit different. Fancy. We shall see what happens.
I get this question a lot. Um, if money were no objects, what tools would you add to the ROV? I believe Trevor wants a rock splitter. Hydraulic rock yeah. splitter. <laughs> That would be pretty yeah, why don't we get yeah. multi And I want new cameras. So four K how many Ks do you want? All the Ks. All the Ks? Seventy five. No, Ks. because poor Tim and the other data people would just be miserable if it was like eight K footage for Oh my goodness. <laughs> I asked him how much data storage we had and Oh what's the answer? He, I said and don't say a lot because we know you're gonna say a lot and then he laughed. Um and he said, I'll get you some numbers. Oh, cool. And then he did not. <laughs> did you want to zoom here, Megan? Or oh, I was just trying to figure out what that was. Yeah, sorry. I'm like at the end of my leash, so I'm trying to get stable. Um, Could you zoom? Yeah. I'm not sure if it's like a sponge. Yeah, I think it's just dead sponge. Dead sponge? Okay. It just like looked like a tubey thing. It was weird looking. Tubey things. Tubey things. Oh, sometimes Probably there's really good sponge. stuff in tubes. You never know. Yeah. Okay, that's funny that that question keeps getting asked because I've never heard it oh, on any other like watch or expedition. I guess there's ROV fan, ROV uh, building. Fan. Oh man! <laughs> well, I feel like <laughs> my, my a lot of times the questions lot. that get get asked are based on some of the things that we talk about, and I think we've kind of. Oh. The chat Gotten is a monster to, of our yeah. own creation. Absolutely, yeah, we definitely <laughs> get questions related to things that we allude to. Uh, We've do, talked about data and annotation and yeah, uh, do we color ever, a lot. So we get a lot of questions about those things. Do we ever play a game to find formations that look like other things on the bottom that ends up happening? Like, oh, that one looks like a face. That one looks like a it's carrot. Like a little white spot. That one looks like a white spot. Nice blue circle. Yeah, I was like, oh, I should use my blue circle. I don't know why it's white. I'm going to guess it's another shell. Yeah, that might be a shell, yeah. That's a Nautilus, paper I think Nautilus, it's a paragorgia. Uh-huh. Mm, I'm wrong. Yep, you're right. It's a paper Nautilus shell. Cool. Really? Cool. That's cool. Very cool. That's cool. Um, not among my... Living biological organisms of interest. I'll never get that right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm not seeing any particularly clean rocks either. Yeah, I think I also want to wait until we get to two six seven zero. Okay. Yeah, we went down ten meters actually. Yeah, yeah. We, I do. I'm like, hmm, we're actually deeper now. The calm before the wall. <laughs> yeah, you can see those ripples. It's from the currents. See some protoptylum um, sea pens, those, those orange ones, and then there's a pink senolactid sea cucumber on that boulder. That's what I'm seeing right now. It's one of those really fragile ones. Oh, look at it's got all those little, I really should look up what the little protrusions are called. I'm sure they have a very specific name. Floopity bits? Yeah, <laughs> that's probably not it. <laughs> Mohawk? You don't know. <laughs> Mohawk. Oh, we got an artist in the chat. Hello, fellow artist. Enjoy drawing things of the deep sea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Stop sliding. 
A pilly, maybe? Thank you. That sort of sounds like they're short. What are the long ones called? Long guy papillae. I guess it would be papillae long. Sure. Guy. I've got a question about uh, predators to ask you when you're done, Megan. But uh, considering this is the last eyes of the season, are there any remaining must get before the end biological or geological samples left? To well, the sea's going to give us what the sea's going to give us. Like, <laughs> we can't say we have to get a blanket octopus. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess there's. Like, we, if, if we don't. They don't have a choice. I mean, yeah, we, we get yeah, we get to see what we get to see. Um, our goal is to make it to the top of the sea mount before we leave. Um, and we should make it to the top, but obviously we need to get into port on time. So our off bottom time will reflect at the time that we need to leave station to get home. So, oh, another question about when the dive time starts. That's funny. I didn't think we'd get that so often. Um, I believe it's when Hercules is uh, uncoupled from the whatever, the crane, right? That's correct, yeah. yeah. That is the, the minute, the second that the dive time starts. Um, oh, predators. So, Megan, uh, are there predators this deep? What happens if we spot one? I think a predator is anything that eats something else, right? Yeah. So, there are predators, and those are going to be your rat tail fish and your cusk eels and your cutthroat eels. Those are your big predators down here. Um, Would an octopus be one, wouldn't it? Yeah. One? Yeah. Some of our, the octopuses. Starfish. Starfish is our predators. Um, but if you're talking about like the largest animal at this depth, probably going to be the rat tail fish. Did you find out what the little legs are called? I think they're called, the little legs on the sea cucumber are called papillae. Lapilli? Papillae. Oh. Sort of like the little thinker like structures that are in your intestines are called papillae. Oh, okay. Lapilli is like a, a volcanic term or an igneous rock term. Is it? Yeah. I mean, it's like tiny, it's like a size classification oh. of tougher deposits. Huh. So, when bringing samples up, do they expand due to the pressure difference? Do they expand? Um, if chordates usually do, so like fishes, uh, but a lot of the invertebrates that we recover do not expand. So say our um, zoanthid um, hermit crab friend will not expand. Uh, here's a personal question. How long does it take to lose your sea legs after a trip? It depends on what you mean by sea legs. I bobble around. Like, I feel like I'm still, like, rising and falling for, like, two days. Yeah, you get dock rock for a couple yeah. days. Especially in the shower. But uh, sea legs, if you're referring to, like, you know, if you get back in the ocean, like, are you going to get seasick? Um, we do have someone on board that, like, usually the people that I know, like, when you go out the first time the season, you might get seasick. Then they're pretty good. But she gets seasick every time we leave port, even if she was just out to sea. So, oh, yeah, that's, that's not uncommon though. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get seasick every time I go out if I don't wear scopolamine, and I would continue to get seasick three weeks in if I didn't wear a patch. Wow. Um, and when I get back to shore, I have dock rock for like sometimes two weeks, and I get two it. Weeks? I get oh it worse. Gosh. Like when I wake up from a nap, it feels like my whole house is moving. Oh my oh god, wow. really weird. Do you ever wear the patch at home? <laughs> no, because I hate it so much. Right. <laughs> I can't wait to take it off and like see straight. 
Why Wait. don't you like, oh, it like ruins your vision or something? It can really mess with you. It does mess with my vision. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But I mean, no, guys, I'm functional. she has it's 15 not that jobs and she can't even see. <laughs> she can't even <laughs> see what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> she can see. I'm not, it's not, no need for a pity party, but if you see me looking at you weird, I just can't quite see you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but you continue to come to see anyway, so you must I love really this love job. it. It's a great job. Yeah, so even if you get seasick, you can still come to see. Yeah, I think a lot of people who get seasick on the boat, even like who are still taking okay. seasickness medications, like it's just what you have to do to get here. And it doesn't matter. You I have do anything you can. I have met only like one or two people that have gotten so seasick that they just can't get on a boat. Uh -huh. Yeah. But it's only been like one or two people and I've met. Yeah. Lots. Lots. Yeah. <laughs> I heard about someone doing that. They were a master's student, I think it was, and they were doing some marine research, and they wrote a bunch of whatever, and it was at their field research time. They went to sea for the first time ever, and they got so violently ill, even on every whatever medic medication they could find, yeah. that they had to stop. Oh, yeah, such a I heard, and it oh was like gosh. full IVs for the person I heard. Yeah, like, there might have been, a, I, oh I think gosh. it was a different person. I was. It was like, uh, anyway, Canadian research ship, but it was... Uh, same per kind of thing. It's like brutal. Yeah, some people are more susceptible to seasickness than other people. There are some things you can do, though, yeah, as but preventative di measures. Different remedies work for different people, though. Yeah. Well, it, so it doesn't make you any less of a strong person if you get seasick. I yeah. always like to say that because some people like to brag about how they don't. Yeah. Like, oh it's, my, it yeah, just it it's like the luck of the draw. It's totally. Yeah. A total luck thing. There's also like these inner ear crystals that everyone has, and um, what are they called? Like your o othe othioids, othioids or something? I don't know. I've called them the. I I dealt with vertigo for years, so yeah. I, we just called them the crystals. But yeah, they do have real names. And like <laughs> your doctor can like realign, like move your like head in a way to realign them, yeah. and like well, that can I help with like well. motion sickness and stuff. Uh huh. Just a second, I'm trying to get. Ships coming stable. that way. Looks like a really pink uh, Cyclopodes Superiana. Yeah. Not sure. It's not the right color. What are you? Come on. Okay. Uh, go ahead and zoom in, please. No. Oh, it just has like a really weird. So this is still um, a sea cucumber uh, in the family um, Elipidae. It looks like it's eating. Eating. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely nomming on that that rock. <laughs> definitely mm -hmm. nomming. Nom nom nom. Yeah, but this is a different one. So it has like a little vellum. That sort of a uh, little head skirt. <laughs> oh, I love that head skirt. And it's all folded up right now. I want to get but a head another skirt. sea pig. I like that one. Yeah, that yeah. One, I really like that one. That I one that was one. really cute. So that that might be uh, either a penny agony or. Um, Can you zoom my Argus, please? Yep. Second. Pretty bouncy, so it might be or an awful. Or an okay. possibly. Always good to know. So we have a photo in our animal guide that looks a lot like it. Called that's like Penny Agony slash Amparima species two. We're not quite sure which one it is. Uh, why are there no corals or plants this stable? We see plenty of corals, but there's no plants because there's no oh. sunlight. Photosynthesis cannot occur. Oops. There's one. Why do the deeper parts of the oceans lack the biodiversity of the shallower oh, ocean zones and land? I mean, there's a lot of biodiversity down here. Um, it's not as dense of a community, 
uh, just because there isn't as much food. So if you're, it's also depending on where you are um, in the shallow ocean, what you're going to see. Everything, every location is a little bit different. The ecology is a little bit different. So we, we're we seeing quite a bit of diversity uh, in this environment, but it's not as dense as you would see at the surface. So like if you're looking at a shallow water coral <laughs> yeah. reef um, so in Hawaii, so say, you're looking at this coral cover that's, you know, 50% or more, and you're not getting that same amount of coral cover, but you might be seeing the same number of different species uh, as you're seeing here. It's just, you know, it's not dominated by 50% coral cover of parietes, coral, that those that, that's the big lobate corals that you'll see on reefs. Um, you're seeing these small fans, so it looks really sparse, but just on this rock alone, we have three species. You know, and uh, of corals. And then you have barnacles and worms and other small crustaceans that we're not picking up in this in this camera view currently, but it doesn't mean that those animals and that diversity isn't here. So there is a lot of diversity in the deep sea. And my job is to help us understand that better by providing these video annotations um, that go into the deep sea coral database. So here there's a black coral. It's really sparse right there. It looks like a bathopathies, but it only has like three branches. Do you want to zoom? Yeah, can we do a quick zoom yeah, on that? Try to get over there. Uh, it might be. Up on a rock. Let's see. Yeah, you got rocks behind you. Yeah. Um, can if you it's go not far safe, away, we Zoom can Aaron? move on. Oh, it's okay. I just won't be very close. Yeah, th it's just sort of odd. Normally, the these types of corals have more branches. This only seems to have four branches. I'm going to pull out on Argus a bit. Oh, fine. Just a little <laughs> bit. There you go. <laughs> Do you have any more zoom in? I do, but I just need it centered or else it's going to yeah, zoom right off. Yeah, sorry. The and then yeah, this one right here is an arella. Zooming in. The type of coral called a primnoid coral. And then there was an associate, I believe. It's a brittle star. That's full zoom there. Yeah, we see brittle stars on norellas quite often. So that's an association that um, is quite usual for this area. Right. Move then there's the Romilla Gorgia militaris. And then it looks like there's a couple species of Norella. So you have the sort of short, uh, leggy, branchy one, and then the d denser branching Norella. So they're even within the same genus, we're seeing multiple species. Come full wide on Argus, please. There you Coralady enough, we've seen any evidence of uh, current or past hydrothermal venting. No. No, we have not seen, or no, you do not know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. What was the question? <laughs> what? There, well, there shouldn't be any hydrothermal venting. Yeah, on this. currently, no. Yeah, yeah, there's no hydrothermal vents. But uh, do you have any evidence of past hydrothermal venting? Um, I actually don't know what evidence of past hydrothermal vents looks like. Me neither. I thought you would, though. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never seen a hydrothermal vent before. I've only seen it in videos and pictures. Same. I don't know what they teach you at rock school. So. Yeah. How are the rocks looking? Speaking of rocks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
They look like rocks. Yeah, like, are they good collection rocks? Like, would you want to sample one of them? Yeah, I want to wait till we get a little bit higher. I'm looking at the oxygen concentration. I want it to get a little bit lower. I don't know how much lower it'll get, though. Whoopsies. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. This is kind of cool. Oh, look at those. It's pretty. Squat lobsters hanging out in the branches of that Chrysogorgia geniculata. Sure. Like a party. I think there's three of them. Oh, this is a beautiful rock. Yeah. This is a different... Um, oh, I thought it was on the other tool, the draw tool. <laughs> Can you zoom in, please, Aaron? So there's a little Rudogorgia, and this one is a different type of Chrysogorgia. This might be Chrysogorgia tricolis. Oops. And this uh, bottle brush one is uh, Chrysogorgia geniculata, possibly. And then this is a black coral called Trisopathies. And in the branches of these Chrysogorgia corals are squat lobsters. And squat lobsters are in the genus Europtychus. Okay, I'm kind of happy around here and start looking for a rock. Happy to start looking for a rock, you say? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Maybe up here. I suppose I should come up on Delta. Oop. Sorry? I suppose I should come up on my Delta. Oh, yeah. Any of these look? Any of these look happy? Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me. Okay. Would it be possible to do? Oh, whoops. The one to the side. To get what? The one over here. Over where? Off there. to the left. Okay. That's too big. <laughs> Bridge and have hold position. That one, not the big one. This one. This one's still too big. That one still looks too big. Yeah, it'll fit in one of the big boxes, but uh, okay. you only get so many of those. What about this one? Sure. I'm going to steal your this thing for a yep. sec. Oops, wrong button. That's the right button. This thing? Yes. That's going to be stuck, maybe? Yep. No. Okay. How about this one? I don't like how much sediment is on that one. Don't like. I don't like how stuck it is. So <laughs> neither of us like it. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Okay.
Uh, sorry. <laughs> I just <laughs> put my hand out and it was just holding Megan's hand. <laughs> sea buddies. Okay. <laughs> what about that? The less uh, sedimented one. The one on the left of those two? Yeah. Yeah. This one. Yes. Okay. A little closer. Yeah, I think that's where he's nope. stuck. Bonk. No, it's okay. stuck. Okay. What about to the left? Like this one? What about this? I don't know. That one? Oh, God. This one. You can. Yeah, that one works. It will not work. No. Nothing's working. Try it's picking not. one that's not stuck, eh? <laughs> 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 yeah, we can keep moving up, moving okay. up slope and get something soon. I'm just going to wait till you're mid-screen before I step, see if yeah, we Roger. see anything. What about this one? Oh. Gone. This. Oh, God. All right, I'll come back. <laughs> this one? Yeah. Whoop. Sorry. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm hung up. Mm -hmm. uh, no. This is the worst claw machine game ever. <laughs> I can't win anything. <laughs> the game's rigged, I'm telling you. <laughs> Stupid Okay, there's game. some over here that look good. Let's try some just off to the right. If yeah, any of those a little loose. work. Those like black ones. Darker ones. <laughs> He's just getting warmed up. <laughs> fiddling with the arm. I won't be able to reach those. Oh, sorry. How about how about one of these ones? Like this guy. I don't like those as much. Oh, okay. oh but but it's right okay. there. Okay, fine. <laughs> this one? What do you what do you want from me? How about this one? <laughs> Hang on. Uh, that one's stuck. I'm pulling the. Oh, I might break it free. Yeah. Oh, Not yeah. you can't I'm do like this one. You think? That one. That's huge. Uh, is that piece? Is that a piece on the front? Like this one? Nope. Yeah, stuck. And the one beneath it is also stuck. I think they're the same rock. Yeah, they're all the oh. same. Yeah. Okay. Let's move up a little bit. Keep okay. That one. It's not small, but again, sure. This one? Yeah. Yeah, that's a big box one. That's fine. Uh you F in, is open. Or, yeah. Starboard box F. Look at how smooth Four ferro manganese crust. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's good. All you've ever wanted? Okay, come full wide, please. Rock shopping is hard. All right. Yeah, it is. Tell me if you want the sample of them. Are you good if I get a little ahead of Argus? Uh, sure, yeah. Wait, are you going to want a Niskin as yeah. well? Yes. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, stay you can here? stay here, yeah. Okay. You can open the box, please. Yep. You can leave that. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to try for a small box. Just for fun. A, B, C, and D are all open? Um, A, B are open. There's things in C and D, so it probably won't fit there. Ooh, that's not going to fit. Okay. You could even try E. You could try Echo again. I know there's something in there, but... Yeah, that is not going to fit. No percent chance. Uh, in Echo? Yeah. Uh, I'll hold my breath on that one either. Okay. F is open. <laughs> okay, I'll give it one more shot here. That's fine. You can put it in F. Yeah, I'm going to do F. Eh. All right, it's an F. 
Sweet. That was 116. 116. 116. Roger. Can you camera rack back, please? Yep. And I'm going to come up on Argus right now. Uh, that's all the way back. Can you switch my camera over to the... Yes. Uh, and then camera left, please. Okay. I'm going to go for level? three. NISC and three nope. is open. Yep. Okay. You got it. Okay. Let's move. Yay. ASAP. Okay. ASAP. Niskening? Did we niskin? We niskined. Uh, we that good? one was 117. Gosh, I look away for a moment. You guys are too fast. You can camera rack out. 117. We'll stow the arm once we get up. Yep. What's that? Uh, okay, do where were we? Okay, keep moving. Do we take breaks? Can't really do it 24 7. Yeah, the reason why. Uh, ROVs are great is because if you, you put go more to the right. Sorry. No. Um, if you put people in a submarine, they need food, they need to use the bathroom, they need sleep. Uh, so okay. the submarine can't go down for very long. Um, so we are on four hour watches. So we will be out of here at 8 a.m. Hawaii time. Um, and then we'll have eight hours in between that to do other tasks or you know sleep depending on the time of day or whatever whatever the other things we have to do in life and then we'll be back for four hours in the evening I should clarify that when we leave, other people will come in. There's three okay. watches a day, so we all rotate out. We just leave the vehicle sitting on the bottom idling. <laughs> <laughs> just put it on cruise control. Oh, how much longer is there on this last dive? I'm not saying this is our last dive. This is one of our last dives, for sure, uh, of the season. I'll hit it for you. Uh, it's 24-hour dive, so we'll be done Look where? in about 12-ish right. more hours-ish. I didn't see anything. Is this not our last dive of the season? Ahead. I will yep. neither confirm nor deny that. Tubular. Not ours. That rocks are cool up here. Look at that big coral. Looks awesome. It's a pretty coral. Oopsies. Yeah, no, I didn't say it was the last dive, dear chat person. I said it was one of the last dives, because I actually don't know. We are at the end of our season, uh, and this is the last expedition uh, for the season, but I don't know if this is our last dive, because I don't make the dive decisions, so I just uh, do whatever I'm, whatever I'm told to do. So we'll see if this is our last dive or not. We are going to be back in port on uh, uh, one. I have no sense of time anymore. So we are at the end. I just don't know how, how endy we are. How endy are we? I don't know how endy we are. <laughs> it is in 
finite. Non finite. everything. Nope. All right, on this wonderful boulder, we've got a uh, Norella coral um, and a mushroom coral, along with the Romilogorgia militaris that we've been seeing. <laughs> Things are picking up here in the coral worlds. Also, we have a, uh, looks like a little anemone in the sand. In the background, I think I'm spotting a bamboo coral. Um, what is the next expedition for 2022? Um, it's season starts in January, so we only have a few weeks off here. Um, and I don't know what the dive plan is, but we will be, uh, our port will still be Honolulu, so we'll be in the Hawaii area, um, poking around at seamounts. And I think in the summer we have a couple of slightly different cruises lined up. So we will await the surprise. We're just stepping the ship up on the ridge, we think, a little bit, science, and then we'll start moving north again. Sounds good. Thanks for the update. Yep, no worries. Don't want you to get worried that we're staring at the same sand patch. <laughs> I enjoy this patch of sand. Yeah, it's calming. Yeah. Well, if we were able to take a look into the sand, we'd see a whole bunch of things. There's a lot of different invertebrates that all live down in the, the sand or um, sediment here. If we were, took a core, it would, might show that, you know, this area could be how bioturbated it is. Bioturbation is the mixing of the sediment from animals. And microorganisms. And, yeah. 
And my zoom enough, I can see. We are but. looking currently at a dead sponge stock. And then on the right is the Romilogorgia militaris. Does her cam have a uh, microscopic zoom, Aaron? What is that? I said, does Herc Cam have a microscopic zoom? Nope. No, not yet. All right. That would be cool. That like would be you super know cool. how they do those video um, where you just like keep zooming into yeah. certain things, and yep. then you're like looking at cells and then atoms. If only you could do that in real life. Is that That'd real though? No, it's not real. I mean, they stitch they multiple stitch things together. They stitch video together and then like sort of visualize what they think things look like. Oh, it's, okay. all, it's all computer magic. Oh, okay. But it would be cool if you could do that. Just be uh, like, oh, zoom, zoom, enhance, enhance. <laughs> enhance, Aaron, enhance. <laughs> Good morning from Aberdeen, Washington. Hello, Aberdeen. I know people, oh, I know people that were in Aberdeen. Ooh, can we hear the underwater sounds from the ROV? I feel like the ROV makes so much noise that if we <laughs> tried to record, we would hear mostly that. I might be wrong about that, though. Yeah, the, the ROV is quite noisy. We're getting thanks for our dedication, enthusiasm, and knowledge for ta and for taking people along on the journey. Well, if we don't take people along, then really, what's the point? You can't just find cool things in secret. Some people keep the stuff, the cool things that they find to themselves secret. Yeah, and they're... It's not a great way to not do science. Nice. But. Like, look at this awesome thing that could like help and inspire humanity. I'm just gonna hoard it like a dragon on a gold pile. Yeah. Well, you know, everybody's a little bit different about how they feel about their data. Also, if we don't share, you might think that like spend like millions, if not millions, you might spend decades working on something that you think is like super New and rare novel. yeah and then you realize oh wait it's already been done yeah a lot of people will not share data because they're afraid other people will do the work and they won't get any of the credit for you know uh-huh doing most of the work so like i understand how that could be the case here is a beautiful bamboo coral Looks to be unbranched, and that first segment is really close to the base. Feels like the bamboo is like almost touching the lens of the camera right now. It's beautiful. I know we're just zooming, but 